a question that comes up a number of times and from a number of places uh, around the country and around the globe is the concept of sleep apnea and sudden death because when you think about what people are describing as sleep apnea and you say the words they stop breathing it's not unusual that some people hear that and wonder well does that mean you stop breathing for good and do you die in your sleep and what's important to hear about that is that that seems to be a rarity it's not an impossibility I'm going to explain in a minute what I mean by that but it's a rarity the, the, the notion that people have sleep apnea and then suddenly die in their sleep seems like um, something that can be exaggerated in ways that may scare people that really aren't you know in, in, the, in their best interest because it just may create too much fear um, think about it you know sleep centers diagnose individuals all the time with raging sleep apnea you know apnea is every minute apnea is every 30 seconds dropping their oxygen levels into the 50 60 percent range and these people have been doing that for years it's just when they find out they might suddenly become very nervous about it and want treatment right away and certainly we attempt to do that the two places where it's important to perhaps think about uh, complications uh, during a particular night of sleep are in individuals who are susceptible to what are called cardiac arrhythmias uh, you know changes in the in the pacing and the rhythm of the heart and people who have difficulties with heart function uh, in some way either because of heart disease such as uh, atherosclerosis or heart disease of somehow the heart pumping action isn't working well now these two areas are important because when somebody has known cardiac arrhythmias well it's known that when a person has sleep apnea they have these irregularities of the oxygenation of the whole body including of course the heart and they also have irregularities of the way the brain waves are operating which actually means then that the sympathetic nervous system tends to be turning off and on during the whole night generally speaking sleep is supposed to be restorative you're supposed to have peaceful sleep the blood pressure is supposed to actually drop during the night your pulse is supposed to drop during the night if those things are not happening and instead you're having this wildly chaotic night of sleep due to breathing and um, changes in oxygenation and brain waves it is possible that that can trigger arrhythmias and we actually do see that in the sleep lab for such an individual we would be more cautious and would want them to get on their treatment you know much sooner and we would say to them you know you should be using this every night the same would be true with people with heart disease coronary artery disease because if you have these same troubles with oxygenation or the uh, overactivation of the sympathetic nervous system you're actually going to influence the way the heart pumps blood and of course one of the most important areas the heart pumps blood to are the coronary arteries within the heart and if the heart is not pumping strongly it cannot get the blood into those arteries and you can have episodes of angina you could conceivably trigger uh, a coronary event such as a, a heart attack so really it seems that there, there doesn't seem to be any great research out there suggesting that this is a common thing where somebody would die in their sleep because of sleep apnea but given the circumstances of the patient for example a 40 year old very obese patient who perhaps has undiagnosed heart disease could be very much at risk for these problems and therefore certain types of patients should certainly be more cautious than others.